Good evening. And I would like to say, I would like to give my, definitely give my hearts out to you, your daughter, or sister, excuse me. Sisters. And give me your sister's name again. Janika Perry. Janika Perry. And give me a little insight about what happened at Walmart. I know she was an employee at Walmart. Yes, for five years. Okay. Say she went, she went in the bathroom because uh, she was sick. She was throwing up and um, I guess no no one came in and check on her until 11.30. She had been laying on the floor for a whole hour and a half. Say she clocked that at 9.54 and went, and went into the bathroom and never came back out. And they said they seen on camera that customers was coming in and out the bathroom like she wasn't on the floor. So when they finally found her, they say she was still breathing, but they can't get me to believe that she was still breathing. She died on Walmart bathroom floor. And they, they, they acting like they're not accountable. I want them to be held accountable from management down to the regular crew. They don't need a job. They don't need a job nowhere. And, and, I, and I hope that they, they, they uh, oh. Go ahead, Coach. Take your time. Take your time. I want, so. I want them to all to suffer, like my sister suffered. On their bathroom, on their Jeremy bathroom floor, I want all of them to suffer. And I, um, I'm not ashamed to say I had a nervous breakdown Monday because of this situation. And I just got out the hospital today from, from a 72-hour hold at the hospital. I've been on suicide watch. This had this had bad, and it told me up. That was my big sister. I had protect her. And now she gone. What we gonna do? She left behind two kids. What they gonna do without their mother? Everybody can go on about their married life. Everybody can go go home and eat, be with their family. And my, my sister laying cold at, at a funeral home, waiting to get put in the ground. So she was an employee at Walmart for five years? Yes, five plus. And she, from, from what I understand, she was complaining about pain to, yeah, to the manager, they, they, manager she right? She complained about, about, about her, 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 her acts and pains to the manager, and they said that she, she, they just brushed it off, and so like, the like get back to work. Right, like get back to work, and they wouldn't let her. And she had she worked her whole shift dying and didn't even know it. Wow. So she ended up going to the bathroom. Yes. And a, the handicap stall, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's they were saying that she was in the handicap stall. And customers was going in and out of the bathroom. Yes, sir. And no one, N no not one, one person, no one had a heart. Her. No one had a heart because if if, if it was me. And I, I don't even have to know you. If I see you laid out, stretched out somewhere, I probably end up. I probably be crying too. Just and I don't even know you. You, you it, 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 it don't take nothing for them to dial nine one one or go get go get management. Anything they did none of that. And for that, they all need to suffer. So they were saying something about that she tried to dial nine one one. Is that? Are they you say she tried to dial nine one one twice, but it didn't go through. I guess because it, the bathroom, and she didn't get it wasn't a signal in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So they say she, she attempted to call 911 twice, but it didn't go through. Interesting. Um, wow. So, did they ever find out what was the cause of death? Did they ever come up with us? They, they, they didn't do an autopsy for us, but they said her heart. Really? Yeah, yeah. her heart and her lungs collapsed. I mean, like I said, she laid there on that floor for an hour and a half, and I believe she could have been saved. Can't nobody tell me nothing different. I'm not a doctor, but I believe that my sister could still be here. I'm just trying to uh, really get an understanding how my sister did a poor shift and left her dead. I don't understand it. They treated us wrong at Walmart. They called the police on us. They had us removed from there. And I'm like, it wasn't right. The store manager, he didn't say, sorry for your loss. This is the loss for our company. Like he said, none of that. We just want justice. And we and deserve like, it. I know my sister, if she wasn't feeling well, she told her manager. But they so, they, they were Walmart do make their people work sick and all. And that's not right. Like they gotta stop. If she was coughing and shortening the breath, that sounds like COVID anyway. And throwing up. And then she working in the bakery. Why y'all want her at work like that? It was Sunday. So they wouldn't let her go home with that? They would day. not. I feel like my sister was dying her whole ship and she suffered and she didn't deserve that. Man. Oh. She was too good of a person. Oh. 
and they not let nobody talk of course won't well, nobody at Walmart tell us nothing because they scared they're gonna lose their jobs I'm like you ain't your name ain't gotta be named just give a statement like to help us so when you say it's probably something that's a norm that's going on at Walmart yeah it, I, I feel like it needs to be a class people, action lawsuit right people because people always complain about having to work and not feel good like you can't make somebody work I'm a manager myself if my workers to come in sick, I send them home because you're more than just a body to me. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about their workers. It's not that serious. This is something that probably could have been done Monday, the next day. Like, y'all get all these workers. I just don't understand. Like, my sister should not have been leaving her dead. We had to watch my sister come out that hospital in a body bag. That's how, It don't make sense. They didn't call no emergency contact. They didn't notify us. The hospital notified us. Wow. And that went until 1253 a.m. So Walmart never contacted no one in the family. Never. They did not even call me. Never. And I'm the mother. And we don't even know how the hospital got my my mom phone number because my sister phone locked. My phone is locked. So Walmart had to tell them my phone number. And that's what's supposed to happen when something happens to you on the job. They're supposed to call your emergency contact. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't even reach do that. out of nothing. And, and then when we got there, the store man's acting all nervous. Like he couldn't even keep his paper and his hands shaking. shaking. You like could hear it. Yes. Couldn't even give us eye contact. I'm like, you ain't got the decency to look us in our face. And then he's sitting there removing my sister out the system right in our face. Like, she don't exist. Like she's just another number. She was dedicated. Even when it snowed, she got a hotel room and walked to work. Like, they replaced her at the job, but we can't replace her. We can't never get her back. Like, she they don't understand back. the hurt thing that caused our family. This is her. She got a 15-year-old son. He just buried his dad last year. And nobody's willing to give statements. I feel like that's wrong because what kind of heart do you get? That you okay with them getting away with this? But everybody said she was a good person. We loved her, but why you won't speak up then? Can we just get? We just want justice for our sister. January 16th was not supposed to be the day my sister died. That is not supposed to be. We supposed to be celebrating her birthday in May. That's all. They took the chance of her being saved away from her on so many levels. Refusing to let her go home, laying in the bathroom floor for an hour and a half. And like, she, come on. And she was crying out for help. Yeah, please help me. Somebody and somebody please. not already admitted that the maintenance man said that he heard her screaming for help. So she was screaming for help. She was screaming for help. My sister suffered. And no one helped her. No one helped her. And the video footage showed women going in and out. In and out. And we went to go say, can we see? Can we just see the video of my sister last shift? I feel like we want to see her last eight hours on earth. We tried to be respectful with it. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? He said no. He called the police. So when the police get there, he was like, uh, it's on the store manager if he want to let y'all see the video. Mm -hmm. And the store manager like said no. They can go get a subpoena. I said, why we can't see the video if it's not going to show my sister in distress on whole ship? Mm -hmm. And then they talking about banning us from Walmart. And like I said, I don't give a damn about getting banned because my sister was found dead on this floor. Why would I want to come back here anyway? Let's make sense of this. You ain't doing me no favors by banning me. I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. And they threatening us with terroristic threatening charges. You know, that is very, 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 very sad. I mean, and the store manager showed no type of sympathy, no he type just of remorse. Threw his hand up like, he was just showing nervousness the whole time. Like, yeah, my heart definitely goes out to y'all. I promise, my heart definitely goes out to y'all because I mean, I the mean, pain you, that we have to hear just about it, not the same. And then when you hear it just from you all about how the story went, that is very sad. And for her to be an employee for five years, five years, and like five just years employee, there. you're working in the bakery, you complain to management and let management know that you are sick. You do not feel well. You need to go home. You you're coughing. You're throwing up. You That's you know and, and all of that. That shit. Right. I didn't feel like she went to the bathroom to try to get herself together to be able to go to the hospital, but she never gained the strength to be able to do that because she sat there and suffered her whole shift. I feel like we need answer. We need justice. Like it ain't no amount of money that'll bring her back, but they do need to pay for making my sister lose her life. They took the chance of my sister living. They took that from her all the way. She could have been saved. Yeah, they neglected her. They did that. And there needs to be some accountability. So somebody to be held accountable. Uh -huh. So tell me something about it. Tell me something that that 
you remember her by something that's good, something that her good heart, she had a big smile. Heart. She, she'll do anything she, for she'll you. Help anybody. If she's sick and you need to go somewhere, she'll take you. Even if she's sick. Like she'll help anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I always joke with I'm like, girl, you got a homeless shelter. Because she will help anybody. <laughs> like she will have everything who old enough to have her own place. She always let people stay with her. She don't care what your situation is. She let you stay with her. Like she was a no judgment person. You know what I'm saying? She saw the yeah. good in everybody. She don't care if you don't like this person. She's talking to everybody because that's your problem. You know what I'm saying? She was a peaceful person. You know what I'm saying? It's like she was too good of a person. And she loved kids. She let kids be kids. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. And they love to sit on her lap. At least the nephew is long. love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, love the Lord, you know. Oh, um, she, ooh, she was powerful. Yeah, the day, like the day she passed, she went to church, you know. And like she normally do every Sunday. And her praise, she gave God his praise, you know. And, you know, she didn't know it was going to be her last day on earth. So she died on the Sunday. On the Sunday. Mm-hmm. But, of course, they're not going to rule her death until the 17th that Monday. But she was already dead at 1130 when paramedics right. made it. Right. They worked on her in the bathroom. They're trying to make it seem like that, that she was still breathing when the paramedics made it. I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. And then we seen her tongue. She must. She bit her tongue because her tongue was all bit up. I think she had a seizure once she hit the floor. So she most definitely suffered. And I feel like my sister did not deserve that. She was an amazing person. Can't nobody even say nothing bad about her. From childhood on up, no one. It's not a bad thing that can be said about her. No. I'm not saying she was perfect, mm-hmm. but she was just a peaceful person. Like person she was, mind her business. Yeah, person she mind her business. Her. She hated drama. Yes. Don't come there with no drama. She don't like she, the gossip, none of that. Like gossip. she would shut you down with that. Like she just, I just don't understand like how my family at this point, like what well, we got to, fight for justice for her at her job like she didn't mean nothing like five right. years that's mm-hmm. right no she's not like she's just another number no yeah. this number is gonna count we're, just, we're, we're not gonna just get gonna, justice that's not right. they didn't change yeah. their rules so how is north little rock handling uh, PD, are they doing a good job on it? Are they? No, 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 no ain't nobody reached out to us. us. They ain't even called me. I'm my mother. A one time. Then they tell me we want an autopsy. We got to pay four thousand dollars out of our own pocket. But we deserve. Uh huh. Yeah. But that's what Walmart. I mean, that's what Blue that, That's what they. That's what they said at the funeral home. That we would have to pay four thousand dollars out of our pocket if we wanted an autopsy. When I feel like they should have did an autopsy anyway. They tell me they gonna go off her of medical history. How can you go off her of medical right. history? Mm-hmm. I'm not understanding that. Mm-hmm. When y'all should do an autopsy and see what was what was what. But now nah, y'all going off for of medical history, that don't sit well with me. Don't none of this sit well with me. Mm-hmm. I'm the baby at the bunch, and that, it, just, it ain't sitting well with me at all. My big baby gone. That, it hurt bad. You know what I'm saying? My soul pissed. My, my heart hurt. My heart is empty. So empty. what time What time does she go to work? Um, at, she'll okay. be there at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, and she, she get off mama out at 2.30. She did mama these two French braids, and she was like, Mommy, I love you. I'm going to come spend the night with you tonight when I get off work. She never did show up. Then get the call at twelve some, not even from the job but from the hospital. Right. Why they took so long to call me? Right. She tried so, to call nine one one for herself. Twice. So we had to go to the hospital just for them to tell us that she gone. And we had, we knew it was something because they let us all come back there because you know due, due to COVID only one person can go to the back. They let all my siblings and my mama go to the back, so you knew it was something. So how many kids did she have? Two. She mm-hmm. have a 15 year old and a 24 year old. And a 24 year old. Yes. The one that just left out of there. Tell no one. Okay. Security. Mm-hmm. You need to be security. <laughs> <laughs> so, state your name. I want that mother to be. Okay, you're a mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lakosha James. Lakosha. Sister. Sister. Patricia James, auntie. Auntie Patricia James. Brittany James, little sister. And Brittany James, little sister. What's your name, baby? Malaysia. Malaysia. This her niece. And that's her niece. Yeah. And that's Malik. And that's her nephew. And that's Reagan. And that's a friend. And that's a friend of the family. Okay. So, I mean, I, I, I'm really lost for words. I we all live. I'm very lost. It ain't really nothing too, too much people can say it. Because they keep asking, what do we need? We want our sister back. Right. Ain't nothing you can give us to, 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 to ain't nothing you can give us to have help. Have anyone at Walmart reached out to you all? Though? I mean, have anybody uh, said They sent us some burnt chicken. Uh, burnt chicken. Burnt chicken, some burnt rotisserie chicken. 
bread, juice, and water. That's I mean, it. And that was it. And like I said, the food was burnt. But they never called no, They didn't never call me, not one time. Well, there's one woman over corporate. She, she been texting me back and forth. But she did all she doing is texting. What's wrong with the call? I don't yeah. know she texted me, though. But like, I got the messages from her. And she was like, uh, basically, like, she, she did to say she was sorry for our loss. And she, like, really ain't no word she could say right. to make us feel better. Yeah. But I'm like. And then even in uh, some of the posts from the um, the post that was on um, KARK Channel 4, mm -hmm. there's some individuals on, on there that have had family members to actually pass at Walmart. Yeah, and a lot they, of people. they blew them off, made them go back to work, thought nothing of them. And. Walmart just That's why I said it would be a class action lawsuit against Walmart. Absolutely, because it's multiple people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like on so the news post, so, so. it's a lot of people that's under there saying, because this one girl was like, her uncle had a heart attack at, at the job, and he worked there, and people were just walking over his body. And yeah, people were saying how they work all the time sick, and they threatened to, to, to fire them. Like, y'all making people work sick. So they threatened to fire you if you, if you yes. try to leave. That's, yes. that's Walmart on McCain. They need to pay though. Like I said, we need justice for Janika Perry, and we gonna get it. So how old was Janika? Thirty-eight. 38. She was still young. Thirty-eight years old, mm -hmm. young girl. And she was like, she was not supposed to die that day. She was not like that is not what God wanted. She suffered like no, she was too good of a person. God don't let good people suffer. And that person that heard her screaming for help, he really need to suffer. Because you ain't got no heart. He shouldn't. He that. shouldn't even have no job right now. I'm be honest. Well, what's, what what really sit bad with me is is her being in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. well, and hour and a half for for hour and a half. Hour and a half. For an hour and a half inside of a bathroom stall, laying on the floor, mm -hmm. and people are just walking in and out. Yeah, and they right, said the camera showed that camera. They said and no one, in and out. no one decided to even come. And my sister and I know small person. So I know somebody. Yeah. She bigger than me. She bigger than me. Tall, tall and thick. As soon as you walk into the women's bathroom, you see the yeah. you can see yeah, somebody's head. Yeah. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Even if her body was just sitting up against the stall thing, you still would see her body on the floor because she she's not small at all. That's right. So people don't have a heart for you to see somebody in distress and need help, and you can probably see their life and you don't say nothing. And then the fact knowing that somebody heard her screaming for help and y'all didn't help my sister. And she screamed for help. And she screamed for help. Like she fought for her life as long as she could. As long as she could. Like people do need to be held accountable. Because her blood is on multiple people's hands in that store right now. And they neglect it. And if they it able to that. sleep out, they got to be to the devil because no. That, that is definitely true. They should be sleepless right now. Because how are you able to sleep? Right. Knowing you could have saved her and you didn't. Y'all right. took the chance of my sister still being alive away from her. And that's the point we're making. Could have left, she would have went to the bathroom right down the street. Like, and why did they take her all the way to Sherwood? When they took her to the hospital, they took her to the Sherwood. Uh, Say, this and, and the bathroom is right across the street. Why did they do that? Make that make sense. Do they took they, her to the same thing all the way to Sherwood. They didn't take her to the, the bathroom. Hospital. Right, the hospital is across right. the street. Right, right across the street. street. Like, it's so much stuff that went wrong that night, and we don't understand. Like, we got so They're many not trying questions to help us understand. and no answers. The hospital is across the street, and they yes. drove it to Sherwood. There's a good Sher Sherwood, St. Vincent. We had to drive all the way to Sherwood, St. Vincent. Wow. All I'm screaming, just for my sister, just for Janika Perry, mm -hmm. and we're going to get it. So, what do y'all expect the outcome? What do you want out of this? I want everybody to lose their job that was there that and night. And change their rules. They need to change their rules. I really, I really, rules. Would love the law. I really like a, a law in my sister's name, the Janika Perry law. And the Janika Perry law will be your your uh, your employer. You cannot make you work sick. And if you're sick, they have to send you home. And you know they give you points at some job for calling in. They can't even give you a point if you call in sick because your mental state is more than anything. You need to, you need to be to get intact for you to work their job. You know what? And you hit you hit something real real good on that. I'm glad you said that mm -hmm. because I forgot they do go by point system. Yes. And so if you take all, yes, you get a certain amount of points. Then they're yeah. gonna fire you. They're yeah. gonna fire you. Mm -hmm. And when you're actually sick and you can't, come and then to work, people that told me how they didn't put took doctor's excuses there, and they won't take the doctor's excuses. The what? They won't take some certain doctor's excuses. So if you sick and you go to a doctor, they won't accept some of them, and they still give you the point. 
like seriously, like Walmart is out of their mind. And like they need to be stopped because no. They still run their business like ain't nothing happened. That's right. right People still going in out their bathroom, my sister died in. You know? We need to be on it. Well, Walmart. someone said it's a five, let me see what they just said. Five points you out, out of there? Yes. That's what someone said. So it's After so many months, it's supposed to start over. Something like that. Like it was to knock, knock a point off or something. Just one point after like three months or something like that. I don't know how their point system works, but you can't tell me I got to be here sick and work with so whole it's shift sick. I know you don't know, but it's a possibility that she might have had COVID though? We know for sure. They ain't do an autopsy. They ain't do no us. autopsy. They saying they're going to rule her death based off our medical records. And they said if our family want an autopsy, we got to pay $4,000. Out of pocket. And, and she, I feel like I feel like an autopsy should have been done because she was found on a public bathroom floor. And another thing that don't sit well with me is that she complained about being sick. Yes. Knowing that COVID is out. And I know That's I know for a fact I know for a fact my yeah. my sister told her manager I know she did because she don't never work sick. Like she to, I know for a fact uh, she told her manager she she ain't gonna do that because you could have just sent her home. Mm -hmm. So all you had to do is send her home. Cause now we had to deal with burying her. When that, clap, when that cancer closed Saturday, we'll never see her face again. That's all we got is pictures. That's not right to our family. Y'all replacing her on the job, but we can't replace her. That's right. It's just how they went about doing everything. Yeah. And I, they I agree they with you. They treat like criminals, though. They need to, like I said, they need to tweak their um their policy and procedure and all that. And like you said. And they didn't know the law. protocol and all that. Yeah. What protocol? Mm -hmm. Call 911. Yeah. That's the protocol. Mm -hmm. The manager, like, but the management on night shift though, he really need to be gone though, because he didn't do his job at all. So, they walk. Even you said the maintenance guy walked in the bathroom. No, no, he no. said he heard her screaming for help outside oh, the, maintenance, the bathroom. The maintenance, the maintenance guy heard. The ones through the floors. Okay, he, he heard. He said he heard her screaming for help outside the bathroom. But well, why would you tell people that? Then you, but you ain't try to offer no and help. And then get there be telling folks he had to clean her blood up off the floor. Like, why are you telling people that? Cause my sister suffered in that bathroom, that, that nasty ass bathroom floor. Because y'all don't clean that bathroom properly anyway. So then, what? How how often are they supposed to go in and do a bathroom check every thirty minutes? Like apparently he didn't clean the bathroom anyway. Because I can bet you ain't no initial on that paper around about that time. You know, the maintenance didn't do their job. They're supposed to check that bathroom at eleven o'clock when they closed to make sure one nobody in that bathroom anyway. She wasn't found till eleven thirty, and say because somebody said they heard her coughing and choking then. But that wasn't even the maintenance guy. That was a whole other worker. But at that point, she was on her final stages. She was dying. When the paramedics walked in at 1130, she died. They were working on her in the bathroom. So I know for a fact she was dead when the paramedics made it. When she made it to the hospital, they said she was dead on the ride. They're trying to make it seem like she was uh, the girl that, that went in there to check on her, say she was still, still breathing when she went in there. And I don't believe that. She asked her, Did you want do you want me to call the paramedics? I don't believe I don't believe she was alive when she went in there. I believe she was lying. Just like everybody else. And they trying to cover it up. And I and I need to we need to we need to know what really happened. Because we don't know nothing. I mean it ain't gonna give us it, it's not gonna give us no peace, but it's gonna I don't know. We deserve to know. We just yeah. We, we deserve to know. know. Good or bad, saying? bad or good. We yeah, what, whatever the answers are, we, we still deserve to know. We still we need to see that video of her while we gotta get a subpoena of the video. Are they covering up something? And then the uh corporate woman was like, Well, she work in a bakery, so it ain't no good coverage over there. I know she ain't staying in the bakery her whole shift. Like, come on, let's be real. They say the camera show her going to the bathroom at eight some and then it show her going to the bathroom at nine fifty four. When she went there at nine fifty four, it showed customers coming in out the bathroom. And she never so came she out though. She went in at 954. And it showed her going in at 8 something too as well. But she went back in at 954. And it, that's when she never came back that's out. That's when she never came back out. But it's the last hour before close. And they, everybody up front, y'all see her going to the bathroom. You can't tell me you didn't see her working. What did he say? He told me I thought she was gone because all the workers from the bank would leave at 10 o'clock. This happened Sunday. Yep. Yeah. January the 16th. January 16th. And that's how I remember the doctor telling us, I'm so sorry. And that's how I keep on playing in my head because I know he was telling me my sister was gone. I done heard that too many times. Like, we shouldn't have been having to hear that because she must still be right here. We thinking we going to the hospital to make a decision, to be honest. We didn't know she was dead until we made it to the hospital. Like, it ain't nothing really they can do to help us seeing her go out to the hospital in the body bag. 
Like that's something I'll never get out of my head, my sister. Coming out the hospital in the body bag. The laying on that table with no pulse. At the age of 38. At the age of 38. With a work uniform on. They cut her smock off her. She still had a work uniform on. She was still an employee because she still had her uniform on. And y'all treat her as if like she wasn't even no worker there. Faithful work. Wow. Faithful. It's been times where it, it snowed outside. She would get a, a hotel by the job. And she walked to and from work to the hotel until the weather got better. Like and she was faithful to them. She went in on her off days when they just randomly changed her schedule. She just went with it whether she was happy or not. And for so y'all to treat her like that. She was a person that never complained about it. Never complained. Never, never complained. Even, even if she felt mm -hmm. something was wrong, she would still go to work anyway. Mm -hmm. It's been plenty of times they done sent her home, but I don't know what was different about that day. You know, I don't understand. Like, I, I, don't, I would never understand how my sister left work dead and how they treated her family after her dying, after working there for five years. Like, yeah, they treat us like criminals for real. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I got a little rowdy, but um, they, they talking about terroristic threatening and all that. I'm like, are y'all serious though? They talking about banning us. Like, we're not coming back to if anybody that nobody's messes, associated with us will ever go back in there. They, they, they can never ever. get our money. Ever. So they ain't got to worry about that. Well, I would just say this to you all. And this is from me, from the Heat staff, to everyone that's on here live. There's 125 people that's watching. Um, our hearts definitely go out to you all. And I hope that you all definitely find justice behind this. Whatever. What are we praying for? Oh, you're going to get it. I promise you're going to get it. I mean, it's there for you to get. So, I mean. She's a child. They say that Walmart is so yeah. quiet right now. The management team ain't saying nothing. They said it's so weird going to family at Walmart right now. I mean, and they so quiet in there. I mean, it, it, it's going to be. And I can't because understand how people okay with not saying nothing, though. Because, for one, one thing is this. She laid on that floor, okay? And with the camera showing them walking in and out, people walking in and out, people walking in and out, walking over there, walking over her. There's no excuse for no one. To have said one person to not say something. No heart. Anyone no that heart. has a good heart or a good conscience, mm -hmm. they would definitely go in and go tell someone, hey, look, right. there's an employee laying on the ground, a mm -hmm. little employee laying on the floor. Mm -hmm. And anyone that has a good conscience would have done that. And for the people that walk past her, because I really, I really am bothered by that. But for a person to walk past a person that's laying down there, that's suffering, and you see that, they have no heart. Like I said, her blood is on too many people's hands right now. Like including, including the regular people, shoppers yeah. that walked mm -hmm. in. That didn't say nothing. Yeah, because you know, there's no way and, I would have. I would have came out and be like, "Hey, y'all, somebody that need help or something," you know, because right. that's called having a heart. Ain't no woman see somebody in distress. And for you to admit that you heard my sister screaming, that don't sit well with me because that means my sister was suffering. And she really needed help. She was hurt. My sister suffered on a public bathroom floor and y'all treated her family like we were some criminals. And when all we wanted was answers. Like my heart been aching ever since. My heart ain't stopped hurting. My sister, that's my first friend. My oldest sister. Like... We real family origin, like we dysfunctional, but we family origin. Like if you go on our page, you see all kind of family pictures of us. You know, we always come together. Like how they ain't gonna be the same for us? She'll be no pictures this year. That's weird. Weird. We gotta go to her gravesite for her birthday. That's wrong. We don't. We we shouldn't be doing that. Well, like I said, my heart definitely go out, and I really, 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 really. I would do my best to help get the story out there as well. And I'm sure everybody that's on here will too as well. We'll definitely get the story out for you all because it needs to be told. It definitely needs to be told. And so it won't be another sister or another mother Amen. or another cousin laying on the floor and someone walking over there in that Walmart. Right. Or they're making somebody else work sick. Or, right. or making someone work sick, exactly. Because it's unheard or of. Or making someone work sick when they really should be at home. Yeah, home on a Sunday. That's right. That's the slowest day for Walmart. Everybody knows that. She work in the bakery. 
Mm-hmm. They will not write off another person. They, they will not. not ignore another person. They will not. What color you are. Yeah, Ooh. black lives matter. It don't matter all what color you are. I don't know about matter. deserve this. Nobody. Right. All lives matter. All, lot of, all yeah. lives matter. They sure right. do. Black or white. That's it don't right. matter. You shouldn't have to work sick. Chinese don't That's make right. difference. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. All lives matter. Everybody. Everybody. And so by this and through this, this, this is what we want to happen. That Walmart would not ever, I don't care what state they in, they will never do this again. And they will change their policy, their procedure, their protocol uh, for how they do things. And this is going to help them to tweak it. Because we locking up on them like a pit bull. Gonna shake and we ain't letting up. up. We, ain't we not letting up. up. You, you know what? This, this may sound crazy to you all. But sometimes someone's life may have to be the one that suffers. To change a lot. Absolutely. To change. I hate that to be my sister. And I hate it, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I hate it have to be her. I'm only but doing this the peaceful but, way because my sister was peaceful. That's the only reason I'm doing this peaceful. Sometimes it takes that one person That's to change right. that law for everybody. That's right. That's right. That she gonna be the one. Her blood. Just is like Martin Luther out. King. Think mm-hmm. about something. That's right. That's right. He changed laws for every. He sacrificed his life to a change laws for everyone. Mm-hmm. But again, my heart goes out to you all. My heart definitely goes out to y'all, and I wish you all the best. I promise I do. If there's anything that you all need from me, I'm going to give you all my number where you can get in contact with me directly. Mm-hmm. And um, just let me know. What we want, y'all? Yes, justice for Jamaica Perry. And we will get it. Amen. Thanks. Yeah.